we go, folks. On the ultra, ultra, ultra light. Just what we wanted. That's just what we were hoping for. Just what we were hoping for on the extra, extra, extra light rod. I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute all about that rod and some more. So stick with me. There's a lot more to come. Well, you saw me catch the redfish, right? I've taken vertical jigging now to the utmost extreme that I could possibly take it. This little, that is smaller than a pencil, folks. That is smaller than a pencil. Beautiful, uh, what they call those anti-tangle um, Fuji K guides, I think they call these. This is a true carbon fiber jigging rod, and it's called a wiki rod, okay? And it is actually, this model is called the Ocean Fire, red, Ocean Fire. And what this rod is, the classification for this rod is an extra, extra, extra ultra light. So matched up with my little water bug jig, okay, a Ryoga 1016, small, compact, high speed gear ratio, the smoothest drag I've ever seen. And the funny thing is, is when the drag pulls, listen. It even clicks when the, when the drag pays out. So what I did with this one is it didn't come with this power handle but I put the power handle on it because now this reel has a special place. It's the micro jigging rod. And you saw, you do not need this monster tackle, these heavy rods, these heavy reels to catch a redfish. You just don't need it. Well, you saw this rod in action. It's got like, um, blank that goes into like a metal part here this is carbon fiber right here you can see through it um, it's got a Fuji reel seat it's got the, the super anti-tangle Fuji guides I mean look how big around this is folks look how big around this is it's got this little little butt on it and what you do is, you know, you stick this up underneath your arm and you, you, you jig, right? And there's all different ways of jigging. There's a, a, you know, just a slow jig. You pull it up and you let it fall. Then there's, a, there's just a quick turn. But all that is pretty much offshore because you're fishing 20 feet of the water column. I'm not necessarily doing that here. I'm wanting to always just fish, you know, two feet of the bottom. That is, this bends literally all the way back to here. I would never do it. I might do it on a fish. If I was offshore or something, I have to hook an amberjack or something on this. Okay. But with a real jigging rod, you use the weight of the jig use the weight of the jig to do the jigging for you. You reel down, you lift up. You, when you lift up, you lift up and it, it, it pops the rod up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, like that. And when you're using a little jig like this, this thing is constantly fluttering, 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 fluttering. Okay. Now I'll tell you, one of my little secrets is sometimes I put a little patch of fish bites right on here 
a little little gulp uh, leech or any any little smell device or I'll even tell you something even easier you go out and you get yourself a big old bottle of Procure Bait Sense Super Gel and you take a jig like that and you smear some of the Super Gel on there and believe me it stays on there it stays on there and this jig will do, continue to be kind of greasy for a long, long time. There is a 20 grain or 20 gram water bug jig. And this rod is literally rated. I got the notes and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you exactly all the stats on it. But one thing this rod can do is it can deadlift, deadlift 13 pounds, I believe, straight off the floor. But I wanted to tell you the stats on, um, on this rod. It comes with a three year warranty. It's six foot three. The blank is literally deadlift tested to 13 pounds. It is basically rated jig wise for 1.2 ounces as a low light jig, where you can use lighter because that's what this is, it's even lighter, up to about three and a half ounces you can put on this little rod. That's a lot of that's a lot of jig, three and a half ounces to jig, but this weighs nothing. The the rod doesn't even, I don't even know what it weighs because I didn't look that up, but it's extra, extra, extra ultra light. And what that means, it's also ultra light in your hand. And keep a watch out for this on my videos. Ultra light catching big fish. That red fish that I caught was a 30 incher that makes him anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds. And this little tiny rod, little 20 pound test, little 20 pound leader, and a little micro jig with a one aught hook right up in the jetties. Whooped him like it was no tomorrow. See you later. Keep an eye out for this, baby, because I am going to be wearing it out. Thanks for watching. on that chicken rod is so much fun. Whoa, so much fun. Uh, it's worth every penny and all the pennies that I saved in wheeling and dealing being a tackle junkie.
Rod, do all the work, folks. <laughs> this is so much fun. Basically, vertically jigging. I've been drifting down the rocks. No bait needed. Another oversized red. You don't know yet, I'm letting them go. Famous words via Jose Wahimi. Rest in peace, Jose. One thing about butterfly jigging is you can go out and you don't need any bait. Well, one thing about micro jigging inshore, you really don't need no bait either. And uh, I don't have any bait on the boat. 